Hi there. Welcome to Izzy Lumzanzi's YouTube channel. My name is Sunny Lisa. For our first topic today, we're going to be talking on mental health and mental health awareness. This topic is so relevant because we just got out of World Mental Health Day last week. And this is actually one of the silent killers that attacked a huge percentage of our youth. So what we're going to do is do a few interviews with people who are and have been victims of depression, bipolarity, eating disorders, anxiety disorders, and all these are factors of, are different factors of mental illness. And so we're just going to be talking through with them how the experiences went, what their support systems were or still are, and how they are managing it, that is if they are. But before we go through that, I'd like to share with you guys a quote on mental illness or mental health rather, by Lemony Snicket that goes, just because you don't understand it, doesn't mean it isn't as it is. And that is something that we should all think about, that just because we don't understand what depression is, or just because we don't understand what anxiety disorders are, doesn't mean that it doesn't exist because it is our ignorance that creates the dead scenarios around our spaces that we don't realize and only come back and think about it deeply in, the, in an in-depth manner of the irreversible cases have taken place. So I hope you guys um, find this very informative and just go with Have it. you always believed that depression is a real thing way before you, you were a victim of it? No, um, I've never really believed in depression because well, I'm a black person mm. and black people don't believe in depression. Yeah, yeah. true, true. The black community. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a very... <sighs> It's not a topic that's spoken about yeah, quite often not. and emphasized about the importance. Mm -hmm. So depression is actually one of the four mental health issues. So would you say out of the four, is depression the only thing that you went through? Or maybe would you say you've ever suspected yourself of being bipolar or having anxiety disorders or eating disorders? Um, it's not only depression. I've also had anxiety. Mm -hmm. And I was taking medication for anxiety as well. Have you stopped the medication? Not really. No. Yeah. Okay. So when was your first depression case where you sat and you thought, okay, maybe I have depression. And maybe that's when your parents or your family took the whole thing seriously. Um, it was in grade 11. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was in grade 11. Um, I was going to write, I think, I don't really remember, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Um, I just felt alone and sad and confused. And then I felt hopeless, yeah. So I decided to drink um, three month post because I just felt like yeah. everything was going sideways. That was my first case. And, and then I landed in the hospital. Oh my word. Yeah. And did right. No, I didn't. And after that, how. Did your parents or your family just react to the whole thing? They were obviously confused because mm -hmm. I didn't tell anyone what, was, what I was going through. Mm -hmm. And my mom was... She was devastated. I can imagine. Yeah, she was devastated. And because I was I was with my dad at the time, mm -hmm. um, he thought maybe I was pregnant. Oh, or, yeah, 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 so. yeah, yeah. So, based on your first um, episode or experience, where would you say you are right now in terms of managing it or just coming to terms with the whole idea of being depressed? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't really tell because I had an adverse old after. Mm. Um, I ended up not liking the advice. But I'm trying to manage it, you know, as much as I can. Um, I also try and attend counseling. And does that yeah. actually help? Not really. It doesn't. <laughs> well, sometimes it does, but then... Yeah, I know too. Yeah. It's, it's not always rosy. Yeah. Like, even though you try to manage it, you have days where you, you just find depressed, yourself yeah. in a depressed mode yeah. and don't know what to do about it. So, what would... Well, for me, I first had my case of depression in varsity because I was just a happy child way before that and it's not something that I ever thought would happen to me. So for somebody, say, that probably isn't at a point where 
they think they're depressed or maybe they are and they're just being in denial maybe because of their spaces what would you say to them um i would say they should talk to someone about it mm -hmm. maybe a friend a family member somebody that they trust yeah um and yeah just talk to someone about it mm -hmm. and yeah yeah so do you think your family is educated now on it depression and just mental health as a whole no still no. they're black <laughs> true so they won't true. understand true. even if you tell them about it yeah it's hard to so by that OTJ they don't even raise the topic of maybe going to a therapist or um, my mom has my yeah mom has. so at least they do get yeah. a bit of light even though it's really they, not something they're not putting yeah, they, into the yeah true yeah. true Okay, thank you so much for your time and um, I just wish you all the best with the healing process and managing and everything. And to everybody out there listening, depression is a real thing and it's very important for us to educate the people in our spaces, to educate ourselves as well on it. Even though you're not a victim and maybe somebody on the side could be a victim, you know, we've had so many cases of suicide where people just committed suicide and nobody knew why but because they probably had um signs but because they weren't educated on it you know nobody noticed have you ever had oh wait besides the 21 pills have you ever had any other episode where you just felt suicidal yes i have that was this year i think um i tried Well, do you, I don't know, do you ever think that Mklepe taking everybody in that could have been a victim of depression and just support, do you think support groups would work? I actually thought of that before, uh -huh. but then my problem is I'm still going through yeah, depression, yeah. so it's not easy for a depressed person to try and help Others. someone else. Yeah, true, true. Because, I mean, you can't really help them yeah. because now you, you're also going through yeah. it, so. Okay. But I think it would be very helpful. It would, yeah. It really would. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time. And, you know, I wish you all the best with healing and everything. And thank you guys for listening to our very first anonymous uh, victim of depression. We will have a few more coming. Our anonymous number two is not a victim of depression or any other men mental illness, but rather she is said to be on the verge based on medical records. So, why... Do you think your doctor said you were on the verge of being depressed? She said that the reason why I was depressed um, of some of the symptoms that I had explained to her, um, which included a lot of um, anxiety attacks, and I had a really, really short temper. And another thing that made her say that was because I started isolating myself from you know, friends and going out and I just wanted to be by myself, mm -hmm. you know. And so she said I might be on the verge of a depression and if it is not treated, whatever it is that I have at the moment, it might turn into depression. So did she give you any ideas on how to treat it? She just told me to talk about it and she told me to, you know, talk to her more mm -hmm. or whoever I trust because um, the more I talk is the more I'm gonna get better. Yeah, so, it is so you know, the fact that I wanna isolate myself is what's gonna make me worse. Yeah. So talking to someone about it is what's gonna make me better. Mm -hmm. So have you ever thought of committing suicide? Yes, I have. Okay, was it once maybe? Um, I've thought about it a lot of times, but I've attempted it only once. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what happened after that? Did you end up in hospital or did no, you just... No, I didn't. Luckily, a friend of mine um, was able to stop me before, before it got out of hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then after that, I, you know, I've been thinking about it, but I guess I never had the courage to actually do it. Yeah. So I guess like a part of me knows that I don't want to die. So true, yeah. true. Okay, and lastly, do you feel like the people in your space that you live in understand what depression is and know how to act? Maybe do they play around with the topic? Do they not take it seriously or do they just completely avoid just talking about it? Um, at the moment, I'm not even going to lie. 
I am not surrounded by people who fully understand my situation, mm -hmm. who know how people like to make a joke out of things. Mm -hmm. It's always a joke, you know, it's always, ah, it happens to all of us, mm -hmm. you know. My situation is not the same as yours. Just because we are all stressed about the same thing doesn't mean we can all cope with it the mm -hmm. same way. You can cope, I can't. Mm -hmm. So if I tell you something, like I'm not feeling okay because of this and that, and you say, and you laugh and when you say things like, hey, it happens. What do you mean it happens? You don't understand the position that I'm in, you know? You cannot even sense when I'm not okay. To you, I'm always fine just because I'm smiling, but honestly, I'm not okay. You don't even want to give me my space when I tell you I'm not okay. Mm -hmm. So that's, I don't think the people that are around me fully understand the situation that I am currently facing. Yeah, man, it sounds like a very frustrating situation. Yeah. What? when you sit and think on your own what is the one thing that you think you would do or somebody else might do to just make them aware so this is actually a serious thing somebody can die from it anything I, I don't want to lie to you I don't think people are serious enough mm. you know you don't know a situation until you face it yeah. so maybe someone who's faced it like myself can make a change but I cannot even do it to people who've never faced it because they'll just think it's just jammer yeah. you know if you haven't faced a situation you don't know how it is and the saddest part is people only realize how serious is it it is exactly you know and you then know. And now, it's just a matter of shock because oh my gosh they died and then right after they don't take initiative just exactly. life goes on and oh. we've had a lot of cases of people dying due to depression True. like nothing has happened yeah me myself as a victim in TV or whatever, I have not seen anything that gives me, you know, hope, something mm. that says you'll be fine, mm. except obviously for the psychiatrist, but then, yeah. you know, flyers or whatever, things yeah. that can help us, I've never mm. seen anything like that, even though there's been deaths due to depression. So we still have a very long way to go but thank you so much for your time and thank you for sharing your story with us and i really hope that you got that out there and we all just take this all in and take an initiative on understanding about all factors under mental illnesses and understand so we can be there for people in our spaces so we can understand what it is and how to treat ourselves the person that we're going to speak to is somebody that's never had or ever been a victim of any kind of mental illness this is so we understand the perspective of somebody that's looking from the outside who's never been in a situation of depression or bipolarity or anxiety and so on and so we just understand what is their way what is their stance in terms of the importance of understanding what mental illness is and how would they approach it should they see somebody going through it and how would they feel or how would they approach their own situation if they heard from obviously a medical practitioner who would diagnose them of something that they've never had or probably never heard of too. Do you know what depression is? Yes, I do. Can you define it or do you just have an idea? I, I think I have an idea and that it's when someone Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> when someone is depressed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Guma, because mental illness has different factors bipolar, anxiety, eating disorders, depression, and the list is a bit long. Which one of these have you ever had somebody close to you, Mklambe, be a victim of? Uh, my best friend had an anxiety attack. It was during an exam. And she was freaking out because in seven zone that's angry or yeah. she kind of forgot what was happening in terms of her schoolwork and I yeah it was it was bad bro it was a horrible experience for me mm. I don't know how much it was for her but for me like looking at the side yeah it was it didn't look nice honestly it was just really why do you say it was like <laughs> a horrible experience for you because I, 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 I panicked. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to do. Yeah. I kept on telling her to calm down. And then she's also trying to breathe in Lana. It was a mess. And suspend, suspend, and was still in high school. So, yeah. so um, after that, did you let me do research on these things and how to, as somebody looking from the outside or on the side, how do you react? How do, what do you do when somebody 
has that sort of situation around you? Okay, I won't lie. I've never really done any research. Yeah. But I had I have come across um, this other Instagram page. They deal with these uh, with these mental disorders, and they just gave us a, a couple of tips on what's more about a mm. and like when the person is having when the person is feeling anxious. Yeah. We try and unga unga my questions are not me like me again and this is Yeah. I guess that's the only thing I remember. So you do consider yourself as somebody that takes this whole mental illness yeah, definitely. thing seriously? Definitely. I won't be too depressed or mm. feeling anxious yeah, if I'm not even out because mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and do you think your family does as well? Do no, they know? I don't think they do. I don't think... No. No. Mm-mm. What do you think could be simply a way that people can be educated about these things? Because. I feel like it's such a it's a silent killer because it is. Mm-hmm. People literally take it seriously. and then they're just like, oh my gosh, I had no idea. You couldn't see the signs and all that. But then right after I'm clapping that death shock is over, they move on, life goes on. So how do you clap it? Do you ever sit and think on how that could be something that could be worked on? I think um, the only thing thing is that like even because mm. you know like you know how we are taught about um all the other sexual transmitted diseases Emakaya, yeah. even in school Emakaya, we don't even have well. we don't even have like a conversation you know mm. with our parents you know our guys we tell parents we this is how I feel you know, yeah. I understand it mm. it's always the stress and it's sometimes it's even deeper than that yeah, no, I think many from the Semakaya, honestly. Yeah, no, true. Open conversation. Yes. Because I'm even also embarrassed about exactly. your child like, having bipolar hey. or depression. They would rather keep a murderer mm. or accept having a pregnant child than a child with a mental illness. Exactly. And it's just honestly. And as it's just this, I think it's a sad thing. Really. It, it really so is. So funny, if I can ask you, Colleen, if I were in homes, in all syllabuses, now with my TV, even mm. I've never seen a TV program that's ever addressed such an issue. So I feel like we're lacking in the sense of how to drive awareness towards the people and towards just the whole idea of a mental illness. Mm. Yeah, so thank you so much for your time. <laughs> and do be that pillar for everybody in your space that's, that's a victim of mental illness. And do educate now where you, where you can with people that don't know what it is. So thank you so much for your time. And I really hope you guys heard that. Thank you. I'm sure, says so Zule, from all of these stories, these different perspectives, these different experiences, how diverse my stances of people are in terms of the whole mental illness situation guys i really really hope that this was very informative i hope that it was fun too um down in the comment section do share your story if you want to you never know somebody you might find your support system you might find a friend you might find a confidant a companion you know it's very important for all of us to be in union in this situation and educate those that don't know what it is um, reach out to those that need help before anything drastic today happens you know so guys this was just part one and in the next part we're going to be talking to the male species in particular because i feel like there's so much that they go through but because we know that because he's a man he's not supposed to cry because he's a man he's not supposed to express the way he feels and that too is a very very dangerous type of thing to live within so our next part we're going to be talking to men and how they tackle depression or how they react to mental illnesses and all that thank you so so much guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and do turn on your notification button for weekly videos thank you bye